Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> hey guys, I lost the connection last time. So anyways, uh, happy Tuesday or as well known in our gym, happy arm day. Um, yeah, so Will's going to be on in a second. I had a little connection problem, but until then, let me try this again. Uh, the last video that we shot, we were talking about portion control and the uh, little like the protein bites and uh, fat bombs for the keto and just in general for a snack. There's Will. Hang on a second. Here, Will, I'm adding you now. So anyways, the, I wanted to show you. These are the trays that I use and they did come in different shapes, um, different sizes. Hi, Will. Let me, hey, what's let me going show on? some of this. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, uh, there's silicone on the bottom, and these are ice trays, and when you fill them up, I have one here, you fill them up, These, this is the, the brownie bites that I make, and when they're frozen, when I frozen them cold, they just pop right out, and then they're the perfect size portion for you, and you can eat one or two of them, and they make them in different shapes, this is another one that I have, and again, they pop out, and this is like if you want to make it something fancier, and it looks like a little rose. But these chocolates are just um, cocoa powder, organic cocoa powder, coconut oil, and a little bit of syrup to uh, taste. You don't have to make them too sweet. And then I put nuts in them or coconut or whatever. So anyways, I just want to show that to you from the last video. So <laughs> Will's on with us today, and he wants to talk to us about uh, blood pressure and fitness. So Will, how's, take it away. how's everybody doing today? Um... Again, I'm Will, um, owner of Mind Elevation Fitness and Nutrition. Yeah, so today we're going to talk about blood pressure. Um, uh, this is a very deep subject for me. Uh, a lot of people in my family have uh, high blood pressure. Uh, it has caused them to have strokes and different other um, things happen to them. So um, let's get right into it. Um, having high blood pressure is when uh, the force of your blood pressing against the walls are consistently too high. Um, a normal blood pressure is 120 over over 80 or lower. And, a, and you're getting into the high range when you're like 140 over 90. So once you reach 140 or 90 or even higher, that's when your blood pressure is uh, pretty high. So uh, we have some statistics. One out of three adults um, in the United States suffer from um, high blood pressure. That's about 75 million people. That's a, a lot of people. Um, and, and only half of those people have their blood pressure under control. So they're either uh, working out, um, eating healthy, or regulating their blood pressure through medicine from the doctor. So I'm going to give you some, um, some causes of blood pressure. So your age, uh, people over the age of, of 40, 37% uh, more likely to have high blood pressure. Um, and over the age of 60, you are 71% more likely to have high blood pressure. That's a lot um, for you guys over 60. So you, you want to be proactive and instead of it being reactive, okay? Um, another um, cause of high blood pressure is genetics. So genetics from genetics or family history. So if you, if in your family history you have high blood pressure, people in your family have high blood pressure, then you are at a higher risk to have high blood pressure. Or in genetics, um, you can have high blood pressure. Another interesting fact for African Amer Americans, 40% uh, um, of African Americans have high blood pressure. That's, that's a lot. That's almost half of the uh, African American population in the United States have high blood pressure. So you want to keep that under control. Another reason you can uh, get high blood pressure is being overweight. Um, being, being obese uh, can cause you to have a high blood pressure. Um, another way is uh, stress. So everyone has stress. So there's no way to eliminate your stress. But you just want to manage your stress. So you want to be positive, uh, think positive about your about your situations and try to limit your stress as much as possible. And the fifth way, um, there's more ways than this, but I'm just naming five. Five ways to call you to have high blood pressure is 
lack of exercise. So you need to be exercising every day. Um, you need to be exercising 30 to, I say 30 to 40 minutes, three to four times a week. All right. So those are some statistics now. I got a couple notes. So now I'm going to get into um, how to lower your blood pressure. First of all, to lower your blood pressure, you want to uh, regulate your diet. So you want to control your diet. So you want to eat um, foods that's rich in whole grains. Um, you want to eat fruits, vegetables, and quality protein. So um, farm, farm, raise animals if you're going to eat protein. Uh, uh, that's the way you want to eat. You want to stay away from processed foods. So I tell everyone, um, when, when you go to shop at the grocery store, stay on the outside of the grocery store. All that stuff in the middle is a bunch of processed foods that's caused a bunch of chronic diseases. So you want to stay on the outside of the grocery store. You want to eat vegetables, fruits, nuts, berries, quality proteins. All right. Next, you want to exercise at least 30 minutes a day, three times a week. So um, it doesn't have to be anything strenuous. You don't have to be in the gym, lifting weights, anything like that. Uh, you can go for a walk. Um, you can go to the gym, get on the treadmill, get on the elliptical. But you want to put in that 30 minutes of exercising at least three times a week. I suggest four to five times a week. Um, that'll help to, to lower your risk of um, getting high blood pressure. Another one is you want to reduce your, your sodium intake. Um, we're not saying to eliminate your sodium intake, but you just want to reduce it. So like a lot of people, when they're eating, they just take the salt and just dump it all over, all over the food. You want to portion it out. On, on the back of the salt can, it tells you how much you're supposed to have per serving. And that's what you should put on your food. And also, um, you want to use, uh, I like to say you want to use, uh, like the Himalayan salt, um, the pink salt instead of, in, um, uh, the other salt, the white salt. So you want to choose, choose wisely, um, when you're uh, putting sodium in your diet, like we said before, you want to reduce your stress levels. Like I said, you can't uh, eliminate stress as long as you're living, you're going to have stress. So you just want to limit your stress. Um, you just want to be as positive as possible. You want to look at the, the good side of things. You want to look at the glass half full, not half empty. You know what I mean? Just, uh, just be positive and um, limit your stress as much as possible. Um, when you're stressed, your body releases a uh, hormone called cortisol. I think I'm saying it right, cortisol. And that uh, promotes weight gain. So that's you, um, you don't want to be in, in that mode, all right? And our last one to, um, uh, to help to lower your blood pressure is to limit your alcohol consumption. Um, you want to drink moderately. You don't want to be drinking every day. Um, so you want to drink moderately. Everything in, in moderation, uh, one, one or two drinks. You don't want to be going overboard. Um, alcohol has a lot of sugar in it, and that could promote weight gain, too, and what can lead to high blood pressure. Uh, yeah, so... Do you have anything to add, Wendy? I know that was uh, kind of fast. Um, you, you know I always have stuff to add. <laughs> yeah, do you have anything to add? So, so guys, uh, these uh, markets and groceries and the merchandisers are getting really smart with the shop out at the outside of the aisle, um, or outside of the store things. I don't know, Will, if you notice, they've put the deli counter now on the outside of the store. Process, that's more processed stuff, like Will was saying, stay away from the processed stuff. The processed meats... Uh, high in salt, high in nitrates. Nitrates are known to uh, cause cancer. Um, so you want to stay away from those. Um, boy, Will, we just lost you. There you go. <laughs> okay. You're all pixelated there for a second. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, just be leery when you go and do the shop from the outside of the store, just because you're in the vegetable aisle and you see like they, now they're putting the salad dressings in with the vegetables. Salad dressings, they've got all kinds of gross chemicals and um, maltodextrins and dextrose is sugars, added sugars, added salts. Um, so you want to be leery of that. What I always tell my people is when you shop by one thing, if you want to make, um, you know, a stew, buy your separate ingredients, put it together. Don't buy a chunky stew or whatever, whoever makes yeah. food nowadays. I don't know. I don't, I don't buy that stuff. So, <laughs> but anyways, um, you know, make your stuff, you know, it's, it's not that difficult. People have gotten real lazy lately. I, I told somebody else the other day, I was like, you know, all, all you have to do is put the olive oil and the, the 
you know, apple cider vinegar, a little bit of water and your herbs and shake it up and you've got Italian dressing. And they were like, well, I could just buy it off the shelf. I'm like, and it's full of crap. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and this is so much healthier for you. So, um, yeah. So on the outside, just make sure that, uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, the, the blood pressure too, um, with salt, um, you really have to kind of know your stuff there too, because like, uh, celery actually has a lot of sodium in it and if you have a high blood pressure to begin with make sure that the stuff that you are eating even if it is all natural isn't high in sodium to begin with so i'm sure probably if you went to your doctor they probably gave you a list of things but celery is one of the big ones that'll throw it way up um and the other thing too is if you are exercising if you're lifting weights lifting weights is great for it but if you're lifting weights learn how to breathe because if you hold your breath why say like if you're doing a bench press and you see a lot of people they hold their breath or their, their head turns bright red and their eyes look like a bug out and they're pushing 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 your blood pressure is increasing at that point in time so if your blood pressure is you know 180 over 100 and now you're bench pressing and you're holding your breath you literally could have a stroke so learn yes. how to breathe properly when you're lifting yes and for you people who don't know that uh, having high blood pressure could cause you to have a stroke. Um, yeah, I've, had, uh, I, I've known um, a couple people that has had, has had high blood pressure and they had um, strokes and they have to learn how to walk over again. They have to learn how to talk again. Um, yeah, it's not fun. Some people, <laughs> yeah, it's, and some people don't don't uh, don't recover from it. You know what I mean? And right. this can all be prevented or avoid it if you were proactive, if you took the proper precautions to eat healthy, to exercise, to lower your stress levels, to, you know, to just take care of yourself as a whole. And um, your, your risk of, of high blood pressure or any other chronic disease will be lowered. Um, I feel uh, a lot of people, um, you know what I mean, they're committing a slow suicide with just not taking care of, care of their body. You're basically killing yourself, but okay. just slower. You know what I mean? So we're here to help yeah. you out, to give you the knowledge, to help you live longer and live a longer, healthier life, you know? Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so guys, if you have any questions, um, you know, Will and I are here. We have our seven-day challenge that is yeah. coming up so we've got a couple people in on it there's more room for whoever wants to be in on it let us know put message me or info below and we'll get hold of you we're going to be starting up pretty yes. soon um it's totally free so and it's you know, time get... sensitive so if, if you're interested please contact us now it's time sensitive we're about to start so yeah you really want to jump on this challenge right and that's you know i said it's totally free we're not you know we do, we're just here to help you guys out right now so, um, yeah, if, uh, if you need anything, call us. if you have any questions, message us, you know, this, this blood pressure thing, like anything else is it's huge. A lot of times it's hereditary. Sometimes it's lifestyle, just like diabetes, but, uh, it is controllable. And sometimes you will have to take even the minimum amount of medication from your doctor, regardless of if you do exercise and eat well. But at least you're reducing your risk. I mean, I get people that come in and they're on like, you know, I don't know, like 12 milligrams of their blood pressure medicine. And after they're done, they've lost some weight and they've been working out. Now they're down to the minimum of two and they have to stay on it only because it's hereditary. But um, they're not going to have the stroke now. They're not going to have the heart attack. So, you know, it is controllable. Like Will said, get out there and just do it. You know, you can't hear me. I can't hear you either. <laughs> ah, you gotta love the internet. <laughs> yeah, you're real fuzzy now too. All right. Well, we'll we'll go cut it. <laughs> All right. Bye.